Hi, my name is Rob from Liquid Systems and we're here today at Horwood Bagshaw to show you how to set up a stacker distribution system on a Scarabar. When you receive your Liquid System Stacker Kit, lay out all the components on a clean area and check your order matches the order codes on the packing list and refer to the manual on your particular system which will be marked with a red dot. We recommend that you lay out all the stacker components in the order that you will install them onto your implement. The induction filter is the first part to be installed. Mount it so that it does not interfere with the function of your implement. Keep in mind from which direction the umbilical line from the pump and control module is routed. Make sure the mounting assembly is fixed securely. The stacker manifold is at the core of the stacker distribution system and are designed to give you total flexibility and ultimate stream control. All the manifolds are pre-assembled in our factory and all come with a unique identification part number that show you where they need to be located within the system layout in your manual. Next, assemble manifold mounting brackets and install them onto your implement. When installing the manifold assemblies, normally one manifold for each folding section, the ideal location will minimize the routing distance to your openers, ensure that the folding of your implement does not damage the manifold, and will also make sure the manifolds do not interfere with the movement of your tines or disc openers. Now that you have the induction filter and manifolds in place, route the pressure hose through your implement from your induction filter to the manifolds and between the manifolds according to your configuration. Next, cut hose with hose cutters. Applying small amounts of petroleum jelly to the hose barbs and applying heat to the hose will ensure an easier installation. Make sure the umbilical inlet of the induction filter is facing the direction of the pump and control module. Next, secure all hoses with the supplied clamps and cable ties, ensuring that the hose will not be kinked or crushed when your implement folds. You will find the stacker terminal assembly kit all packaged up together and comes with all the components necessary to set up your terminal assemblies. Open your manual and find your terminal assembly configuration. This will be marked with a red dot. Inside the support kit you will find a toolkit to help you install your terminal assemblies correctly. These include extraction pliers, LQS separator tools, a sharpener for chamfering and a tube cutting tool. By referring to the data tables in your manual you can determine what size line meters or what length of terminal tube are needed for your required flow range. you will need to find your terminal assembly. As an example, we're going to show you the ATFB terminal assembly. Carefully measure out the terminal tube to the correct length and cut with the tube cutting tool. Starting with the check valve, make sure that the arrows on the body of the check valve coincide with the direction of flow. Then insert the reducer and the terminal tube you cut earlier into the downstream side of the check valve. You can now install the check valve boot by stretching it over the check valve cap, ensuring the boot is fully expanded by pulling the boot out sideways to ping it into shape. Applying a few drops of detergent to the rubber union will help you in fitting the rubber union over the steel delivery tube or terminal tube. For optimal stream control, make sure the terminal tube is pushed all the way through the steel delivery tube. Using the cable ties provided, secure the terminal tube and position the check valve at an appropriate height to minimise damage from stubble and debris. Now connect the terminal assemblies to the manifolds ensuring that the delivery tube avoids kinking or crushing when your implement folds. It is really important when cutting the delivery tube to always cut with a supplied tube cutter to ensure clean, non-distorted tube ends. Also chamfer the cuts with the pencil sharpener provided 
to allow easier fitment and to push in fittings. The extraction pliers can be used to remove plugs and line meters or the compression tool can be used to depress the collet of the push-in fittings. Using the chamfered delivery tube, insert into manifold and repeat for every outlet. Depending on how many outlets your system has, delivery tube may be split with push-in tees provided. The last step in your liquid system stacker distribution setup is installing the pressure gauge. Connect the back of the gauge to one of the gauge ports on one of the stacker manifolds using the delivery tube. Position the gauge so that you can monitor the manifold induction system from your tractor cab. This installation guide was brought to you by Liquid Systems. For more information please visit liquidsystems.com.au